Hello friends, welcome to this video and in this video I am going to talk about job opportunities in telecom and 5G industry for freshers and entry level engineers. So if you are an EC engineer or electronics and telecommunication engineer or maybe CSIT engineers, this video is relevant for you. We will talk about what are the job options, what are the different companies who are hiring in this space and what are the different domains you can target for the jobs in the telecom industry. My name is Sanjay Kumar and I'm founder of Telcolon Services. If you like this video, please feel free to like, uh, press the like button or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need any further information, please visit www.telcolon.com. If you want to stay connected with us, you can connect to me on LinkedIn by using this URL or subscribe to our YouTube channel by using this particular URL or join our community on Telegram by using this particular URL. Recently, I was interacting with some college student and I asked them a question. Hey, what are the telecom companies you know in India? And surprisingly, I got only four answers, which includes companies like Geo, Vodafone Idea, Airtel, or maybe BSNL. However, these were not the wrong answers. These were right answers because these are the companies who are operating in the telecom space and providing telecom services to the end consumer. But this is not all what we have in telecom industry. Telecom industry ecosystem is much more wider than this. And in the next slide, we are going to talk about it. There are various categories of companies who are working in this space, which includes the OEM or original equipment manufacturer, which are the companies like Ericsson, Nokia, Huawei, Samsung, Mavenier, LTO Star, Parallel Wireless, and Tejas Network. There are mobile network operators who are operating in India like Jio, Airtel, Vodafone Idea, but there are other operators like Rakuten from Japan and Dish Wireless from US they are also man having a lot of technical teams sitting here in India. We have system integrators, which are companies like HFCL and Starlight. We have a lot of IT companies into this industry, which is like HCL, Infosys, TCS, Wipro, Tech Mahindra. And recently, if you have read the news, the BSNL 4G contract is, to, is given to the TCS-led consortium, which includes TCS, Tejas Network and another company, which is a government owned company called as CDOT. So there are a lot of job opportunities available in these companies as well. In addition to this, a lot of consulting companies are also working in this area, which includes companies like EY, KPMG, PWC, Deloitte, Capgemini and Accenture. Even the hyperscalers, which are typically the public cloud companies like AWS, Google, and Microsoft, they are pretty active in this space. Just to give an example, the Dish Wireless Operator of US have deployed the complete workloads on the AWS infrastructure. Right. So telecom industry is not only limited to Airtel, Geo, Vodafone, or BSNL kind of companies. It is much more wider and there are a lot of other companies. Please remember, these companies are just for example, this is not the exhaustive list of the companies who are working in this space. There are many, very many small, medium and large enterprises who are working in this space and we will be talking about that in the next slide. If you want to look at the overall architecture, overall uh, companies who are hiring in this space, I have listed all these companies in this space, which are companies like Accenture, Airtel, LTU Star, or maybe companies like MDocs, AT&T, BEL, right, or the companies like Dell, Deloitte, Dish, right. So there are a lot of companies in variety of different areas. The companies are working in CU, DU, RU, which is typically the radio access network. Companies are also working in the core network side of it. Companies are building applications or the software for these telecom networks. So there are a variety of different roles and responsibilities which are available in these kind of companies. Secondly, one of the questions which I normally come across, people say that, okay, telecom is about electronics and telecommunication. What is there for the students of CSITs, computer science and information technology engineers? I wanted to 
mention one thing here telecom today is not the same it used to be some time back telecom today is more software than the steel and that requires a equal amount of software engineers similar to the telecom engineers so there are a lot of software development software testing related jobs which are available in the telecom industry so there are enough opportunities for coding for you know testing for software development and all these areas even in the telecom industry also not only related to software development and testing if you are someone who is not very comfortable with the coding or software development there are roles which are lit very technical in nature but also requires no almost no coding skills some basic linux commands and all that what you need to know to get into any cloud computing kind of role and currently lot of different companies lot of different companies are deploying their radio network and the core network in the cloud space in the cloud infrastructure so red hat uh, open stack vmware these are the companies who need telecom engineers along with some kind of cloud infrastructure experience so nowadays all these telecom networks are built into some kind of data centers so there are a lot of cloud related jobs which are also available in the telecom industry right there is a huge skill gap currently most of our colleges they don't teach these kind of subjects which is related to 5g telecom telecom software development so there is a huge skill gap in the industry these numbers may be little old but numbers are still very relevant so there are a scarcity of the resources who have the right skills and this is not only 5g this is also moving towards cloud computing artificial intelligence big data analytics because all these networks which were earlier hardware based network are getting into software based network and that requires lot of software skills as well right so there is a huge you know deficit of the talented resources and that will be a great opportunity for the indian engineers just to take an example i'm talking about this job role which comes from infosys which is about 5g network engineer so infosys which is typically considered as it company and the kind of primary skills what they're looking at is the 4g 5g wireless network also talking about wireless lt core network technology and protocol but along with that they are also looking for some kind of golang experience so this is a role this is a role which is typically designed for developing softwares for wireless network right so you need to have good knowledge on software configuration management system and also awareness about latest technologies and industry trend in the wireless industry so this is a mixed role which requires you to have telecom knowledge as well as the software knowledge and if you have both the skills you will be relevant you will be able to apply for this kind of job and this is not a senior level job or an experience level job this job is at a entry level job so there are a lot of opportunities available even in the companies like infosys tcs hcl wipro tech mahindra and a number of these kind of companies right so that's all what we have in this video if you want to know more about it please feel free to visit www.telcolearn.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you very much and see you in the next video